About 15 minutes ago, I got a phone call from Utah Animal Control calling to tell me that an officer had shot and killed my dog. He was inside the backyard in a fenced off area. What was the cause for an officer to shoot and kill my dog? I just arrived at my house. There's Utah Animal Control. And the officer's involved in killing my dog. Now I want to know who shot my dog and what the probable cause was to trespass on private property and kill my animal. Which officer shot my dog, please? He's not here. He left? He's not here. Okay, it's probably a good thing. What was the probable cause to trespass on private property and kill my dog? We were looking for a lost child. And that gives you probable cause to enter a private residence without permission from the owner. Sir, we'll provide a case number for you and document it. My okay, knowledge. officer, can I get your name Sergeant. and Sergeant your police Sears. officer number? Thank you. Sergeant Sear, from the Salt Lake City Police Department. And the case number is... 99228. Could you say that one more time? 99265. 99 yes. Right. The and your officer? The other, the other case number is related to the missing child. Oh, the missing child, what's that one? 99228. Thank you. So what was the probable cause to kill my dog? Sir, did, probable did cause my... to kill an animal does not exist. Probable, probable cause is something... I'm asking why you guys went on my property and why he felt the need to kill my dog. Okay, I can explain the basic circumstances, and that is that he, was, he entered the yard looking for a lost child. Uh, he was threatened by the dog, and he shot the dog. That's as simple as it gets. He was threatened by the dog. So, backing up slowly and leaving the residence is not an option? Sir, we're going to give you a case number. Do you have any questions besides the ones you're asking? Right yes, can I have the officer's name and badge number that killed my dog? I don't have his badge number. It's his officer. name, please? Officer Olson. Officer Olson, and is he with the Salt Lake City Police? Yes. Or is he with Unified Police? Okay, thank What's you. Name, My name is Sean Kendall. Okay. I am the owner and occupant of this residency. Is that S E A N? Yes, it is. Is it K E N? D A L L. What's your birthday, Sean? Is that relevant to the case? I'm going to be doing a, an amendment to the report. So you have my address and my name. That's yeah. adequate information. Thank you. What, what is your address here? Is it 2465? 2465 South, 1500 East. Do you have a phone number I can put down? I do, but you can contact me through this residency. An officer is more than welcome to stop by. Do you have, do you have any phone number we can reach you at at all? I do, but I don't feel comfortable giving that at this time. Okay, that's fine. I'll write down the case number uh, on both. Would you want just the one case number? Both would be great because you will be hearing from me and my lawyer. And I understand it wasn't you personally, but you guys killed my dog. I've had this dog for three years. He was my best friend, and he was shot because an officer couldn't back the fuck up out of my house. Is that against policy? Is that against training? I don't understand what you're saying. I really do understand. There's a problem with officers killing animals for no reason. You look online, it's everywhere. Did the officer at least have the decency to kill him in the first shot so he didn't suffer? Or do I have multiple gun wounds in what I consider my child? So I get to bury my dog because an officer couldn't back up and close the fucking gate. Something's got to change. And I know it wasn't you, I'm sorry. I'm fucking pissed. What happened was wrong. Right across the street, that dog has bitten two dogs and almost lunged at a little child. But nobody comes to do that and then kill my dog inside my house? Now I gotta bury him, clean the blood, and take care of my dog. Because an officer couldn't back the fuck up.
I didn't have anything to do with this. I know, and I understand. Uh, and, and, I, and, 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 and you have all the right to be livid. Uh, this is the least of the case number. Um, we're, we're just the mirrors of bad news. I know. And, and, and I think they came out as well. And, and, um, I don't know. There's, there's not words that could express. There, there's not words that. Could, I, I wasn't here. So there wasn't. There was There wasn't. I can't say. The shit that officers need to be agreed to because it's running rampant, and not just Salt Lake, but everywhere. It's not. What can I do to de-escalate the situation? And oh, I'm gonna fucking shoot this dog in his head. Nothing else could have been done. I understand he's an animal. But I've had it for almost three years. Well, here again, animals are unpredictable. I don't know the demeanor of a dog. Uh -huh. I don't know the demeanor of a dog. And, um, and you guys don't go through dog training whether they shoot the guy in the head? I have no idea what transpired with the guy. I can only assume because I've known him for three years. He growled at him, barked at him, okay, get the hell out of my land. Same thing anybody else would do if they're trying to walk into their house. But because he's an animal, it's not okay. Sean, she's with animal control. Do you have any questions for her? Yeah, he may want you to go on, so... Sergeant Sear, place your camera by your steps. No, thank you, officer. Have a good day. I need to go get the dog. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm now inside my house. I just got done speaking with the officers. And as I walk to my back door, I see my dead dog lying on the ground. This is the gate that the officer most likely walked through. As you can see, there's a significant amount of distance between the gate and my dog. Why didn't the officer just back up and leave? Why did he feel the need to escalate the situation to a point where he had to shoot my dog in the head?